hello students in this video we are going to learn the second part of unit 7 standard 4th english name of the unit name of the lesson is the giving tree before this we had learned the poem a watering rhyme which was about how to water plants and which is the best time to water the plants now in this lesson the giving tree we are going to see a boy who is talking about a tree who has a friend who is a, which is a tree so let's begin name of this lesson is the giving tree how do you feel when you help someone so you feel good when you help someone how do you feel when you share your things with others you feel happy when we share our things with others now read this play to know how a tree feels when it helps a boy so here i as i told you before it's a friendship of a boy and a tree and the you will get to know what a tree feels when it helps us now narrator narrator is the person who runs the play who operates the play the narrator says once there was a tree and it loved a little boy every day the boy would visit the tree and enjoy its company company means enjoy its time spent together the friendship of the tree so who enjoyed the time spent with the tree yes the boy enjoyed the time tree said come here my boy come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches so this is what the tree said the boy says swinging from branches ah oh, what fun so the boy enjoyed swinging on the tree the tree says are you hungry eat my apples here the tree offers its apples to the boy the boy says eating apples how delicious delicious means tasty the narrator says when the boy was tired he slept under the tree the tree was happy to give its shade but time went by and the boy grew older and went away the tree was often alone after some years one day the boy came to the tree and the tree was very happy tree said come my boy come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches the boy said i am too big to climb and play i want to buy things and have fun i want some money can you give me some money now it is not possible for a tree to give money so what will the tree do to help the tree said i'm sorry but i have no money i have only leaves and apples you can pluck my apples and sell them in the market then you will have money so so freely the tree offers its apples for the boy to go and sell them and earn money the narrator said the boy happily plucked the apples and carried them away the tree was also happy but the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy The tree said, "Come boy, come and climb up my trunk, swing from my branches, eat my apples, play in my shade and be happy." The boy said, "I am too busy to climb trees. I am getting married and I need a house for my wife and children. Can you give me a house?" Tree said, "I have no house." but you may cut off my branches 
and build a house so see how caring the tree is even though the boy did not come after a long he came after a long time he did not come for a very long time the tree was left alone but when the boy came finally the tree was very happy and he offered whatever it had first it offered its fruits the apples for the boy to sell and earn money and now the tree was willing to offer the branches of its of its of himself so that the boy could build a house the narrator says so the boy cut off the tree's branches and carried them away to build a house the tree was very happy but the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad again and when he came back after some years the tree was so happy that it could hardly speak now the boy was a young man tree said come boy come what can i do for you young man said i am going to a business trip i want a boat to take me away can you give me a boat the tree said all i have left is my is a trunk cut down my trunk and make a boat and you can sail away the narrator said the young man cut the trunk of the tree and sailed away in a boat the tree was left only with a stump so slowly slowly the boy took each and every part of the tree the tree selflessly gave everything to the boy just to make the boy happy because the boy was the tree's friend and after a long time the young man came back again now he was old man but the tree recognized him the tree said i'm sorry friend but i have nothing left to give you my apples are gone old man said my teeth are too weak for apples the tree said my branches are gone you cannot swing on them old man said i am too old to swing on branches the tree said my trunk is gone you cannot climb old man said i am too tired to climb The tree said sign I'm sorry I wish that I could give you something but I have nothing left I am just an old stump I am sorry old man said Dear tree you have always given but now I don't need much just a quiet place to sit and rest Tree said happily well An old stump is good for sitting and resting on. Come friend, sit down and rest. Narrator said the old man did and the tree was still happy. This story has been adapted from The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. So, what did you get to learn from here? from this story so here you get to learn that trees are our best friends they are there for us in all times in good times and in bads they give us everything selflessly and so since they are our true friends we should also be true friends to them and avoid cutting down trees and we should also protect them by stopping others from cutting down trees so this is the moral that we get from this story i hope that you all enjoy listening and understanding this story it is a very good and moralistic story have a good day thank you god bless you all